Hi, I'm Jim St. Ledger from the Intel Corporation, and we're here at Mobile World Congress 2014 in Barcelona. We've been checking out a few things on the show floor, and today we've stopped by the Intel booth. I'm here with Mike Lynch, Product Marketing Manager. Mike, how are you? Hi, Jim. So Mike, um, I think you have something to show us today that's sort of showing the traction and, and progress that Network Functions Virtualization has made. Can you show me, or tell me what you're here to show today? Sure, Jim. So for the last number of years, we've been working very hard on virtualizing network functions, uh, particularly in the LTE core network. Uh, and over the last few Mobile World Congresses, like we've been demonstrating like, you know, proof of concepts together with uh, partners in the industry, showing how you can run these network workloads on Intel architecture with high performance. Uh, this year, like we're taking the concept uh, a bit further. Um, we're focusing on the LTE ENOB, virtualizing those workloads, and also virtualizing the LTE EPC workloads. Okay. So the serving gateways, PDN gateways, uh, MMEs. Um, but together with that, we're also showing uh, deep packet inspection, uh, virtualized and included within the overall virtualized network architecture. Uh, and we include it as a, what we call a virtual network function as a service. Um, okay. So together what we're trying to demonstrate is that you know, we have a, a scalable network, very flexible, you know, composed of standard off-the-shelf commercial and open source software components, you know, which is elastic in its nature. Right. So like, you know, as traffic profiles change during the day or night, uh, the network resources can scale up and down on, on Intel architecture. Um, and together with the uh, deep packet inspection, it gives you like you know an intelligent NFE network, so that in real time you can analyze the workloads and maybe um, assign different profiles or policies uh, to the uh, uh, to the traffic. Like you know, uh, and from a service provider point of view, that enables you potentially to offer new types of service very quickly, um, which also affords you the possibility to monetize more right, quickly. Right, right, outstanding. So you've yeah. taken uh, you virtualized. EPC, virtualized eNode B, you added DPI as a service on there. Yes. Now I'm sure this involves some ecosystem partners because that helps this scale out very quickly for the carriers, right? Absolutely. So it was very important for us like, to work with like, what we felt were leading uh, ecosystem partners. So we work with a company called Tieto uh, as an overall system okay. systems integrator, and they've done some of the proof of concept applications uh, which are running like, you know, on the EPC and the eNode B. Uh, we're also working with uh, Cosmos, who provide like their uh, deep packet uh, inspection engine, it's a content inspection okay. engine, um, and it's integrated within the infrastructure. And lastly, we also have Hewlett Packard, who provided like the uh, the hardware, uh, so okay. all the server hardware on which the demo is running. So a good set of partners that are ready to help deploy network functions, virtual agents, solutions in the market today. Absolutely, and uh, you know we've also been uh, formally accepted uh, in the Etsy NFE uh, POC uh, group. Uh, as a formal uh, as a formal submission, so we look forward, like you know, to proving out, like you know, um, the workloads and the performance, like you know, and the uh, commercial deployability uh, of these functions, like over the next few months as well. Right, terrific. Thanks, Mike. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate all the information. More than welcome. If you want to learn more about this, please visit intel.com. Thank you for watching.